We are living in a rapidly growing and changing world, and human well-being has greatly improved in recent decades. There are about 3 billion people getting wealthier, and by 2050, they will be entering the global middle class. Our challenge as teens will be meeting the needs of these people, all the while trying not to destroy the environment that supports the life around us. We are intricately connected to that environment. Beyond the resources that it provides, nature is absolutely, amazingly cool. Living organisms and the ecosystems in which they reside are complex, intricate, beautiful, gross. Simply put, our world is amazing to be a part of. Surprisingly, a big way we interact with the environment is through the food we eat and how we grow it. Food production is a huge cause of environmental change and habitat destruction. Agriculture, which is farms and pastures, take up the most amount of land on Earth. Croplands alone take up as much land as a continent of South America, while pastures for grazing animals take up as much land as a continent of Africa. On average, it takes around 2,300 square meters of land to grow food for just one American. That's the equivalent of five NBA basketball courts. In recent years, five to 10 million hectares of land have been cleared for food. Most of this land came from diverse tropical rainforests. But not every diet takes the same amount of land. Diets differ around the world, but on average, it takes three basketball courts to feed a person, and that's 40% less than the typical American diet. Meat production requires more land than vegetables, fruits, and grains. In fact, meat production requires three-fourths of all agricultural land, and this is because of the space needed to grow animal feed. Animal feed also needs a lot of water. It can take up to 1,800 gallons of water to produce just one pound of beef. That's as much water as 90 showers. Around the world, people are making more money to buy things like food, clothes, and shelter. And as people make more money, they buy more meat, which takes more land to produce. If everyone wanted to eat like Americans do, we would need twice the land we have to grow crops. And where would that land come from? Individual diet choices, like choosing between a hamburger or a veggie burger, or even a chicken sandwich, can have a big impact on the environment. But what if you don't have those options? Over 1 in 14 Americans have little or no access to fresh or affordable food that is necessary to maintain a healthy lifestyle, let alone the ability to make choices that are better for the environment. These areas are known as food deserts. Food deserts are defined as urban neighborhoods or rural towns without ready access to fresh, healthy, and affordable foods. These communities may only be served by fast food restaurants or convenience stores that offer few affordable options. The lack of access contributes to a poor diet and higher levels of obesity, as well as other diet-related diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. But lack of food isn't just a problem. Sometimes we have too much food, and one third of that goes to waste. That's 20 pounds of food per person every month. It also takes on a significant environmental toll too. 31% of US cropland and 25% of US freshwater goes to raise that uneaten food. These are all large problems. Fortunately, we live in a time in history with the opportunity and the technology to really change the fate of our planet. By making smart decisions, we can put the environment on a more stable path. The actions we take today can greatly improve our future. But if we don't take any action, then we may find ourselves with massive environmental problems later on. It's not adults that have to bear this burden and recognize this opportunity. It's us. We're inspired to think differently and together we can change the world. We can do this. We can find a solution to the problems of today.